Hi, my name is David Fitzpatrick. I'm an educational consultant for RM Education. This short video tutorial will teach you how to take information from one spreadsheet and mirror into multiple different spreadsheets. The reason this may be useful is if you want your entire school community to be looking at one set of data, but unfortunately, if more than 200 people try and access the same document at the same time, Google can then reject those people and they would not be able to see the information. What I need to do is I need to go to the spreadsheet that is kind of the central point with the information that I want to share. And I simply copy the address of that spreadsheet. And I go back to my drive and I'm creating a new spreadsheet. And now into this spreadsheet, I add a simple formula equals, obviously it's a formula, import range, open brackets, double inverted commas, and I paste the address that I had copied previously. I add a comma, another double inverted commas, and now what I need is the name of the actual sheet here, which is staff list. So staff list goes here spaces are important because it's a sheet it has to have an exclamation mark and finally the range which is a1 to c so i do a1 because that's the first cell i want all the way through to column c double inverted commas close brackets press return and you can see now that information has come through if i just format that a bit more nicely so you can see so what you need to understand now is this information is just being ported directly from the other sheet. I can demonstrate that by going to here. And if by J. Henry, I say my meeting with www.googlemeet forward slash one, two, three, four, five. When I now go back to my new spreadsheet, you can see that information has come straight into this new sheet. So what I can now do is I can make multiple copies of this sheet, perhaps one for year seven, one for year eight, one for year nine, one for year 10, and direct those different year groups to their version of the sheet, thereby letting the whole school community access one file, but not exceeding the 200 user limit. You would of course then have to make sure that each of the individual files has the correct permission set and that students have the link to the correct version of that file. Thank you.